like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is random variable. So basically there are two types of random variables. First is continuous and second is discrete. So continuous is represented and it is solved using integral and represented as a continuous graph. Whereas discrete is always deals with summation sign and it is represented as lines why because at particular value we have a discrete value so in continuous uh, there is no particular interval so it is always a range all right like a to b it is always a range so we get this graph so today in this video we will deal with continuous random variable so let's see how many types of sums are there in continuous random variable and how can we solve them Before solving any sum, we have to understand some basics. So first basic is what is small f of x and what is capital F of x. Alright, small f of x means probability mass function or it is also known as probability density function or it is also known as density function. Whereas capital F of x means cumulative distribution function or distribution function. Alright, so they are interconnected to each other. Uh, when we talk about capital F of X so when we derivate it with X we get small f of X and vice versa when we integrate then we get if we integrate small f of X we get capital F of X so this is the first basic second basic we should know is the graph is always continuous graph alright and and we will always have range range of x all right there there is no no discrete value no discrete value means what no discrete means no die sum no die sums because when we throw a die we get a discrete value all right no card sums again when we talk about cards we have discrete value like there are 52 cards and there are 13 colored cards all right each 13 each colored cards like diamond and so on then these are discrete value which will not come under continuous continuous random variable which will not come under continuous random variable this all part this all part will be covered in discrete random variable topic Alright, so basically we will have range of x means uh, it will be between 1 to let's say 5. So example is this of continuous random variable. So these are some basic graph will look like this small f of x and capital F of x meaning and it will always deal with range of x. So let's solve some sums. So our first question is f of x small f of x is equal to k times x square and whereas range of x is 0 x is greater than 0 and less than 3 otherwise it is 0 so yes we know that it is continuous random variable sum how because it deals with range and it is not a discrete value so first step is clear now let's see what is k and how to find them and how to solve this and what is the question basically what they want from us what is the probability when x is greater than 1 and less than 2 so we have to find this so our question is this so understand this that first we should know that it is continu continuous random variable so solution first right it is continuous random variable all right second we have to find k so second is finding k so how to find k we have to integrate it from minus infinity to infinity all right and what we have to integrate small f of x dx so this is the formula 
and that is always equal to 1 so this is our first formula that is minus infinity to infinity of f of x dx that is equal to 1 from this we get the value of k so let's solve this uh, so basically minus infinity to infinity means x range from 0 to 3 here so 0 to 3 and f of x is equal to k times x square why 0 to 3 and why not 0 to 10 because 0 to 3 the function is valid whereas from 4 to 10 all right 4 to 10 it is 0 so we just have to write 0 to 3 range because at 0 to 3 function is valid all right so equal to 1 solving this integral x cube by 3 and k is outside range is from 3 to 0 that is equal to 1 therefore we get k is equal to 1 by 9 all right 3 cube upon 3 so 3 square will be here therefore k is equal to 1 by 3 square that is equal to k is equal to 1 by 9 so our first step is clear finding k all right so we have small f of x is equal to 1 by 9 x square where x range from 0 to 3 now our question is finding this probability so probability finding is very simple why again range of x is given so we have to just use this 1 to 2 all right we have to just use this 1 to 2 small f of x dx now this dx uh, uh, small f of x we have already found you can see here so just substitute this so what will we get x square by 9 dx 1 to 2 again all right uh, now solving this again we will get x cube by 3 and 2 to 1 again 1 by 9 so after solving this we get answer is equal to 7 by 27 so i hope this was clear to you if you want to know this in a flow like first check check what whether it is continuous random variable if yes then use integral formula minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to 1 why to find k all right so here you can write k is equal to what then you have to use this formula then next we have to substitute this and get small f of x all right then we have to see the range of probability and we have to find the answer so this is the flow now let's take second variety second variety means uh, again we have small f of x and the function is k x square e raised to minus x where x is greater than or equal to 0 now the question says find mean and variance in previous part we have find the probabilities all right that range from some uh, value say 1 to 3 in last time so in this case we have to find the mean and variance and again finding k that is compulsory so solution all right now you know that x is ranging again from greater than 0 all right it's a range so it is continuous random variable all right now we have to find k for finding k we use this formula minus infinity to infinity small f of x dx equal to 1 so substituting the range here so what is the range greater than 0 so lowest limit is 0 and highest limit we don't know so infinity all right small f of x we know that is k x square e raised to minus x then putting dx then equal to 1 after solving this we will get the value of k and k is half i hope you know how to solve integrals so you should know this is pre requirement pre requirement all right so you should know how to solve integrals so third so main aim was to finding mean and variance so mean is always equal to uh, again the limits are from 0 to infinity so we are writing 0 to infinity or else we have to write minus infinity to infinity because the range can be anything but what question says it starts from 0 and it ends at infinity so 0 to infinity the formula here is x times f of x dx so this is the formula all right after solving this 0 to infinity again here it was x square so 1 by 2 was k the value of k 
then we have x square so multiplying with x we get x cube then e raised to minus x dx again solving this is the integral part solving we get answer 3 so first we get k then we get mean now it's time to find variance all right so if you know the variance formula variance formula is equal to e of x square minus e of x the whole square so we have found the e of x part now we have to square this so here we get 9 because we have to square this so answer here is 9 okay now the problem here is to find this so find this e of x square now variable is x square again using mean formula but variable here is x square so it will be again 0 to infinity instead of x we have to write x square all right this is equal to e of x mean is always equal to e of x now we have to find e of x square so this is the formula and again substituting this will get x power 4 0 to infinity and e raised to minus x dx that is equal to 2l after solving this we get 2l so what is our variance at the end so variance is 2l minus 9 so answer is 3 so this is our variance so again let's take the flow flow is check continuous random variable after checking this find k what is k all right finding k formula is minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to 1 then go for mean just multiply x to this all right then we have to find variance then to find variance we again need this term so find this e of x square then we get the final answer so in continuous random variable we have two types so type 1 is already covered so type 1 was no split domain like x was already fi fixed let's take example x was fixed between x uh, 1 to 3 or it was greater than equal to 0 so it was fixed what if i say the if uh, splitted domains are present so this is type 2 splitted domains now what happens here here happens is f of x is equal to let's say some value in this range then we have some another value in this range and so on so how to solve them will be covered in the next video तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट